This is a bad position for Alex. He's got to scramble out of here. Oh, oh. big shots. Big shots Custom by John Jones. Wall of trouble here. Gustafson's in trouble. That's John it. Jones has That's regained it. the throne. John Jones stops Alexander Gustafson in round three. Going into this fight, March 2nd, this will be my 13th world title. And it means a lot to me. You know, I set out to be the most dominant mixed martial arts fighter of all time. What's up? Uh, time to get that work, no days off. Tonight, it's Sunday night. And uh, we're getting ready to hit it. Probably do about eight rounds of mitt work. Something light, you know, just keep the body moving. John, John is almost like a snake charmer, a little bit. He, he lulls people in and he, and he forces people to watch him and, and people are waiting on him and you just can't fight him like that. You gotta bring the fight to John. And I'm gonna force John to fight. Oh, it's fucking Lionheart! Yeah. Give me some Lionheart! Give me some of you, man. You. This literally is, a, this is an, an underdog table right here. This should be no pressure. Uh, I was just telling the people earlier, like I feel like a criminal. Like I'm, I like I know something that no one else knows, and I'm gonna I'm gonna roll in and, and steal some shit from Vegas and then leave. Because I'm more technical doesn't mean that I can't fight you at a faster pace. He's reaching. I expect him to say smarter things than opponents in the past, but I read through the bullshit. You know, with me, not only people expect me to win, but they expect me to, to win impressively. And so um, I'm setting out to be the greatest fighter in martial arts history, and um, I'm the guy to do it. You you, are, uh, you live in Nebraska, but you like where? where I, I train. In, I do my camps at Factory X in Denver. Colorado. Okay. Yeah. My needs are a lot different than than everyone else's, because I don't cut a whole lot of weight. So <laughs> that was breakfast. We're moving right on to lunch. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. Every fight, that's a reminder of why we're here. The eye is always on the prize. And that's the prize. Another one of those. Man, I, I hope he's ready, because I'm fucking coming. And, and this isn't going to be easy for nobody. And you can try to run through me, and you can try to <laughs> deal with whatever pressure you think you have, but you need to worry about yourself. Stop worrying about what the fuck everyone else thinks. Yes, sir. My man. Anthony is very good, he's very powerful, you know, like very imposing, but, you know, John have the key. Do you look back at his fights and see mistakes that other people made that you can correct, or do you believe that you possess something different inside of you, a skill, a trait, whatever it may be, that he hasn't seen before? You know, I, th I think that I have the answer, I really do, or, or I wouldn't be here, you know, I've, and uh, I know what's in front of me, you know, I, this isn't some big surprise. I know exactly what I'm doing and I put myself here on purpose. Uh, do you feel like you're still ascending or have you plateaued? Like, do you feel like you can get better than you have been to this point in your career? Yeah, yeah def definitely. I, I feel like right now I'm at my absolute best and, and I'm just realizing how much I don't know still about this sport. Um, I'm really excited about how much I'm learning still. Um, my maturity has grown tremendously. So where before in between fights I'd be the biggest party animal. Now I'm, you know, in the gym. So John Jones has really never lost a fight. He has that one loss on his record, but we all kind of know that, that that wasn't wasn't a real loss. So when you have a guy who no one's really written a blueprint on, do you come in with a really strong game plan of this is how we're going to beat John Jones, or do you come in with with principles and ideas of of what it's going to take? But it's not really a game plan. I, I think I'm one of the best in the game at problem solving, and I, and I figure things out on the fly. Uh, and once I find a hole. I'll drive a truck through it, and I've been doing that for a long time. I don't care what he's going to do. I don't care who he's beat. I don't care how many titles he's won. He's just like everyone else. I'm going I'm to I'm come across the cage, and, and I'm going to swing hammers until the, the last second tips out the clock or until he's unconscious. And my next question was going to be, how do you beat him? Is that how you beat him? I'm going to finish John Jones one way, one way or the other. I, I mean, I mean we, can do it, we can do it on the mat. We can do it on our feet. It doesn't matter to me. I, I, but like everyone is going to see a totally different John Jones in there. They're going to see one that's hurt and one that's nervous. And, and, and one that's avoiding stuff and one that's not in a place that he's comfortable. And, and John always says that, you know, he, he's the most comfortable in there and, and, and we're going to find out. 
this guy has 13 losses. So at the end of the day, he can say whatever he has to say, but he knows, he knows he's come up short a thousand times before. And that obviously, if he was meant to be great, he would be great already, right? He has 70 fights. I only have 25. Between his amateur career, he has 70 fights. And I only have 25. If he was meant to be great, he'd be great already. You know, I think I've given up on the idea of wanting to be the greatest of all time. I want to be the most dominant fighter that's ever existed. And so far, I'm well underway with dominance. Once again, I think the way I finished Sean Jones is up to him. You want to stay in the bank? I think we all know who the better fighter is. Sean Jones is a phenomenal martial artist. And our, our mentality is we're not protecting the belt, we're attacking more belts. And so that's the mentality and uh, that's what it's been. Let's get it. Introducing the challenger, Anthony Lionheart Smith! 204.5 for the challenger! Anthony Smith looking to join that club here tonight. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo Group. He's moving with confidence. But right now he's grabbing at it. Oh! Spinning back kick to the body by John Jones. Very nice. Jones is going to get ahead on the reads. Very interesting that John has such a giant. Oh, nice spinning back kick again to the body. John has such a huge reach advantage, the same height. Right. Oh! And kick from Smith. Ninety seconds here to go, round one. Well, he's also staying calm. He's not using a lot of energy. He's... That'll make Anthony Smith not want to switch stance, and it'll get Jones. You're going to see Jones try to attack. Oh! The guard. So hard to get inside and land against John Jones. So now we're going to see these guys get busy. That's Ooh, that kick man. that Jones does so well that offsets everything else. He oh, oh, that hurt him. Yeah, that got Smith's attention. See it in his eyes. Good right he hand. Hurt. That's time to move your feet. John's just getting off first over and over again. John is just so far out that he can't oh, land. Oh, nice. Spinning elbow, beautiful spinning elbow. Which have landed less than four minutes here in round two. Alexander Gustafson land a lot on him, and they do do a lot of homework. Front kick to the body. So good. Oh, try to go up high. Yeah. Standing in the middle, trying to land back. He gets hit hard with that left. Hand from Anthony Smith several moments ago. And at that leg. Oh! Big right hand. Oh! The trade right. Oh! Woo. Nice right hand from Bonnie. He's... Late level change from John Jones, now a knee to the body. And then Montoya told Smith to get going. Far too often. I mean, this is this is vintage John Jones. Nice knee to the body by John. Those are hard knees to the leg. Nasty knees. And punishing knees. The fact that Smith is exhausting. Jones lands to the body again. Hard left hand to the body just landed. He's got to get on the hands. He's letting John Jones control his hands, which is the problem. There it is. Oh. Violent takedown from Jones. Right. Strategically until he's just in a real bad position. He needs to get moving. Knees to the shin. That's a first. 
but that's so hard to say once he's been beaten up. He's got to think of what it's like when John's got a hold of him and he's beating him up. Oh, he's hurt. Big shot to the body there by John. Lead elbow from Jones. I don't know what Smith's waiting on. Oh, and an up elbow, and now another one from Jones. I think he knows what to do. Realizing why John Jones is the best light heavyweight of all time. There's a big difference between studying tape and then being inside the octagon with this guy. Jones throws Smith to the ground. Oh, Smith oh, covers oh, up. Wait a minute. What was that? Did he just hit him with an illegal shot? His arm, so it's not technically illegal. But if Smith didn't block it, it would have been. Survival at this point. I think it is survival. In this fourth round. Oh! oh the cut really bothered him. He's hurt now, bad. Back to his feet to get another high amplitude takedown from John Jones. Jones not slow and go. Oh, that was illegal. illegal. That was definitely illegal. Yeah. He's going to be all right. One point. Two points. Two points. Interesting. I've never even seen that. Me neither. Left. Ooh. Now flat footed, eats another kick from Jones. to the body, then with the shoulder and an elbow. Just enough to not get finished here. But to just keep beating him up and looking for a possible opening to stop the fight. Over 200 total during his first reign and a late flying knee. Still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Man, it was destiny, my friend. What a night. It's what a big night, man. Hey, you, baby. I tell you what, if the UFC ever headlines a car in Africa, hey, we guess going. who's going to be front row and center? We going. Oh, man, dude. Hell yeah, man. Take care of yourself. Yes, sir, man. Hey. Right back, bro. Let's get right back. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can still have a shot.